Shalom Yasharallah. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor, all glory, and all praises to Yahweh. So call Halalia Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Makakwadash. We give double honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS Camp, but in our great millstone for the bring forth the hundred percent truth that I've been currently edified under. Shalom to the elect and the tabernacle of David. I am your brother Tazariak Kazak coming to you this lesson dealing with um Luke chapter 17 and verse 34 and 36 which we are going to give some understanding to but first let's play this video and listen to the nonsense that, 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 that these Christians would like to push out as part of their doctrine so you see they are waxing worse and worse so you all have no excuse in it if you want to follow out of these doctrines you are also going to be put to death whether you like it or not thus say the scriptures thus say Jehovah Shai. Let's go into some information. The scripture is decidedly negative, but I don't often hear them address Luke 17:34. Jesus said, two men will be in one bed at night. However, be aware that most Bibles do not translate this verse correctly. One translator wrote, it would be objectionable for two men to be in one bed together. Notice how this guy is moving very effeminate, right? Notice, and I want you to notice how I will show you all after how much scriptures he missed out or he refused to acknowledge and just bring up one scripture as though it's going to debunk every single thing that's been, that's been brought out here. Notice it, eh? watch. He knows this, but people, I wasn't thinking about it in the sense of like how people are going to receive it because I don't care at the end of the day. As long as I know that God is telling me to say it, I'm going to say it. And I don't mean that to sound as worse idea. That, that that this guy bringing out that the heavenly father is already ordaining same sex marriage now my question to ask you all how did the heavenly father speak to the prophets and to the words brought up by the prophets to the words in, in scriptures all right this is how we bring the understanding unto us so how could he be ordaining same sex marriage if he's against it in the old testament and in the new Now Christians, you'll have a lot to answer because this is coming from your congregations. See, you like this cover mock against our people, against, against us, the Israelites. But y'all look at y'all, you're far from the truth. Let's continue. Yes, listen, I know, I know. Listen to me, listen to me. I know, I know, I know. But in the Bible it says this. Yes. And notice you don't hear our people the israelites saying that this is accepted you don't hear that so now we understand who are the ones that were given wisdom and who were not your portion is you were not given wisdom sad be your portion accept reality because look at this nonsense that is being played out here imagine not being imagine that i'm new to this truth 
And this precept was played enough that I could easily break this down. It's simple. Imagine that. Now I that, that is a day. Are you true? Are you wax worse and worse? Are you true at this point? I don't understand how who are you feeling? Yes. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? More lies than this have started coming true? You are under a strong delusion. The heavenly father has put you under a strong delusion because he don't want he don't want you at this point in time. You are you are bound, you are destined to be destroyed. You are a two-third. Let's continue. You are correct. Your Bible is correct. For that time period. God is making all things new. So he's even lying on for that time period. The Bible is, is, is for all time period. The Bible is for now, from before and before that. As scriptures say, I am Yahweh, I change not. Anyways. That's being pushed out by this wicked man, right? This wicked Jake. He's a two third. I doesn't. It doesn't go. On, it doesn't change that. He will remain a two third until the t until time for destruction. There's no change in that. The, for somebody to read um, Luke 17 and 34 and see what he sees, your mind has to be corrupt. That means you have to. Be, you have become defiled because somebody would have went in onto you. This is the only reason why you would see this verse to, to mean something so wicked. The Bible is against homosexuality. But you trying to ordain it through one precept? Really? But come on now, man. Come on, come on, come on. Let's like, like get Luke chapter 17 and 34. Plain as day. I want you easy this is broken down. I tell you, in that, in that night, there shall be two men in one bed, and they shall be taken, one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Back then, we were in a state of poverty. Can we afford more than one bed or mattress, man? Because look, even when I used to live in Vesini, right, by my grandfather, we had no house yet. We were sleeping amongst family. You understand? All, all the boys and men will sleep on one bed, a big mattress, and the others on the next. So you're trying to tell me. So wait. So that means that means we would be flicking, intermingling with each other? Engaging in intercourse? No, man. Use your brain. But you can't because your mind is corrupted. The only thing that's come out of your mind is abominations. And you're pushing that out as a doctrine for the world to see. So you're surely going to be judged by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemeroshai. Whether you like it or not, whether you accept it or not, whether you believe it or not, your judgment is coming for that nonsense where you just play out there. That's a big lie from the pit of hell. That's a big lie. Let me show you a video. I show those who, um, your, uh, many of y'all see um, Get Rich or Die Try with 50 Cent. His story line coming up, right? Watch this.
many people would not understand it because they grew up with a, a golden spoon in the flicking mouth. But come on, make it make sense. This is what used to be happening. So then your cousin and your family member kick you out because they want extra space. Because it is is one mattress and you have about five or six of y'all sardine on a flicking mattress to get a little comfort, a little soft spot because you they grow hard and cold. But you know what? Your mindset is why you can't understand this truth. And you will never perceive this truth until the kingdom reach. You know why? Because guess what? Because your mind is way too defiled. You are now abominable. You are marked for destruction. Watch this. You see in there? Two big hard back man sleeping on one bed. He was in a bed too. They push him off because they wanted extra space. And this is what the result, of course, the, the result part is not really what necessary. But he, he ended up training water and which I got shook. <laughs> but this should give a clear example. As to Luke chapter, let me go back in it. Luke, look, literally two hard back man sleeping on one bed. There was three. They pushed him off and he was, he was a teen. They pushed him off to get the extra space. This, this was happening. Look, when I used to work, um, um, when I used to work, um, SESL, when I used to, to go to certain areas and things, right? I, you know, somebody bounced up a room with Spanish, some, some immigrants sleeping on one mattress, about five or six of them sleeping for comfort on one mattress with one big sheet. Come on now, really, really, really? So your mindset is to turn the scriptures, to pervert the gospel, the gospel. Because you, you can only understand it in the way you see it because your experience of what you went through. Right? Look at how you're operating like an like a, a effeminate man. And by your words, it, it, it's, it's full of lies, man. Full of lies. And I've had it with people trying to put homosexuality into the scriptures. The Bible, the Bible does not accept it. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is against it. It will always be an abominable act. Get over it. Get over it. Because your, your minor, your, your nasty ass people are indeed corrupted with no return. And let's get a precept. Like get Romans chapter 1 because you, you see, you, you, you want to bypass the law in the Old Testament and think that the scripture doesn't, doesn't have the same thing in the New Testament. So let's go in Romans chapter 1 and let's go and read and see for ourselves what was mentioned for people like you. Right here, let's start from, from, from this part. Uh, I might, we should go for it up. Let's start from here. Here, here will be good enough. Because you're coming down as verses on 24 and 25. That's the main point, right? It says, Professing themselves to be wise, as said they became fools. It says, And changed the, gl the glory of the uncorrupted, of the corruptible power, into an image made like a corruptible man, which we see happening today. It says, um, Let me continue. It says, And, and to birds and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. It says, Wherefore, um, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, and to, dis and to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who, ch who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, which you have done. You literally have corrupted the word, because you are teaching this. Now, those who don't have the, the, the spirit to receive, they're going to gobble up like his truth. I want to follow in the same light. This is what's going to happen. And that's why you're going to be judged. There will be blood on your hands. You are going to be judged severely for that. Let's continue. And who changed the truth of the most high into lies and worshipped and served the, create, the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. It says, For this cause the most high gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into which is against nature. And likewise, um, also the men leaving the natural use of the women burned in their lust one toward another man, men with men working that which is unseemly 
um, unseemly and receiving in them the recompense of their error, which was meat. So you tell you you're trying to say what? So that means this precept in Luke. Will you go and grab it back one time? Let me get back here. This precept in Luke chapter 17, verses 34, would not be referring to homosexual men that they take in their acts and then the heavenly father come and save one. That's not what he's talking about. Get that out your mind. I read it again. And I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed, and the and the one and the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. And two women be grinding together. This have done to do with bed. It says grinding together. What what do we call grinding this day and age? Hustle, work. But you know what? Your corrupted mind is going to perceive some weirdness. And this is this is the, the, the deception that you'll have to go through. You'll have to go through that deception. The scripture says what? The deceiver and the deceiver are his. You are being deceived for a purpose because you are just nothing but missile food. Let's read it again. Two for two women shall be grinding together. One shall be taken and the other left. What does that mean? NLT made it clear. Two women shall be grinding flour together at the mill. One who will be taken and one will be left. Why? Why? Why is this? Very accurate because when you go into the words, which y'all don't like to go into the etymology, it's hard for you to understand because y'all don't like to see the, the truth about it. So y'all bypass the etymology of words so that y'all can perceive that, 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 that this is what it means. It's not what it means. Let's go into grinding. Grinding what? Literally. Strong's G229. Alatho. Alatho. Simp sh simple simple city point. On the local usage to grind. It was a custom to send women and female slaves to the mill houses to turn um to turn the hand mills. Very simple. Very simple to understand. They were working, they were hustling, they were grinding. That's why that's why when you go to the NLT where it says it says two women grinding flour together at the mill that's what it was talking about that's what it's referring to it's not referring to two women having intercourse which scriptures are against that and then one of them going to be saved the 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 most high is the altar of confusion take that out of flecking head but let's continue reading romans because yeah it juicy it coming on to the end this is what i love the most about this the most is the love i love the most about it is that you're gonna be destroyed and there's nothing you could do about it let me read it over in the nlt right straight to the point it says um and like let go for you for you did. yeah um 27 it says and the men um, and the men, in, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burning with their lust for other men, be, men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserve. Straight to the point, which is what death. But let's continue in, back into the um, King James Version, Romans 1 and verse 23, 28. So like, and even as they did like to retain the most high, in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind. This is what the mind that you have right now. A reprobate mind. The scriptures, it's directly speaking to you. Funnier? It's funnier? I wonder how he didn't read this. How he didn't read this. But he went, we want to read Luke 7 and 17 and verse 34 and, and change the scriptures to mean something different. I wonder how he didn't read this. You know why he didn't read it? Because it would have it would have cut it would have prevented him from doing from, from wanting to perceive such act. But he burning in his lust want to want this thing to be a norm so he could do it without feeling bad. This is why he is saying these things. But judgment will befall you whether you like it or not. And I'm I'm claiming that judgment to fall upon you too. Enough is enough. Shit. Let's continue. The most I gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are, are which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, 
covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers. It says backbiters, haters of the Most High, because they do become that. Many of them do become what? They do become atheists, hating the Heavenly Father and His will, hating the way He, he put things like Michael Flickin, I forget his name, Mike Todd, whatever his name was. A feminine flicking pastor that people like to follow and listen to. Just like that. Let's continue. Um, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. This disobedient to parents, it says, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implica implicable, it says, unmerciful. Most important part here is the penalty to which these acts would be given unto, which is what? Death. Let's read. Who knowing the judgment of the Most High, for those that commit such things, for, for they which commit such things, are worthy of death. Now here is it. Not only do the same, but have pleasure or encourage someone. Pleasure in them that do them. Or encourage them to do it. Or, or say, you know what? Nothing wrong with that. Endorse it. Accept it. You are going to be punished by death. To have no if, no buts. And you want to reach and try to, and, try to, and try to see things different? You go ahead. You see how the new, even in New Testament, how they identify and give penalty of death to the exact same penalty which was written in the Old Testament. That if you commit these evil acts, you will surely be, that judgment will befall you. But you see, people like them wise to do evil. Let me get that precept. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verses 22. Because this is, this is a jake. This is a jake. A, play, a plain, blatant, wicked, two-third jake. Straight to the point. It says for my people is foolish. They are they have known they have not known me. It says they are sottish children, uh, which are stupid basically. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. This is you and your lot right now. Because you have tried to pervert the gospel, but as long as there are men, like men of the GMS and like many brothers, and as, as well as myself, we are going to continue to keep and push out the order, which is Isaiah chapter 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, that's because there's no light in them. And we see no light in you. Now, with that being said, you said homosexuality is not a sin anymore because your carnal minds can't understand Bible. What is sin? Let's go first John chapter 3 and verses 4. Just for you to have some understanding, because you want to believe, you want to stay away from the Old Testament. Let's see what the New Testament say. Whosoever committed sin. Transgresseth also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. Now you said that homosexuality is no longer a same sex marriage, no longer a sin. In order to know if it would, would have been a sin, we must identify what law we would be breaking. Or what, 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 in other words, we have to go back into the Old Testament which holds the law to see if it's a sin or not. Let's go and find it now. Let's go into Leviticus chapter 18 and verses 22. Straight to the point because at this present point in time, you're true. You and your whole doctrine off. And your religion off too. All out there off. Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. One more time. It is abomination. NLT. Do not practice homosexuality having sex with another man as with a woman. It is a detestable sin. 
I thought you said is not a sin. Because New Testament tell you it's a sin unto death. Now let's see what Old Testament tells you. If it's a sin unto death. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 20 and verses 13. Main point. Let's see. Let's see who was lying and who was telling the truth, right? Because I want to prove him to be a liar because we know it's going to happen after, right? It says, Leviticus 20 and verses 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination and they shall surely be put to death. Notice how the New Testament, Romans 1 and Old Testament, Leviticus, is telling you the exact same thing with the exact same judgment. This is how we know that you are going to burn. For, for, this is how you know you, go, you are going to burn at the um, second death, the lake of fire. This is how we know you are going to burn. By the judgment that this has given from the Ahubah Shemir through the prophets. Homosexual judgment will remain dead. So you are a blatant liar. And what did Revelation say about your liars? Let me go into the scriptures one time. Revelation chapter 21 verses 8. Right? It says, But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable, which is you, and the murderer and the homonger and the sorcerer and the idolater and all liars, which is also you, shall have their part in the lake which, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You are going to be heated and destroyed by some ICBM. Game over. But we ain't done. I want to hit you with some more precepts because you think that this is just where it is. You think it are no more. Let me go into 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verses 9. To show you that you can't even inherit the kingdom. First the heavenly father despised this act. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous, which is you, shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. In other words, homosexuality. Let's read it in the NLT. Do not, do you, do you not, do you realize don't you realize, Salakia, that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who, who worships idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality. Let's read. No thieves, no, um, no covetous, no, bang, no drunkards, Salakia, no revilers of no revilers, no extortioners, it says, shall inherit the kingdom. None of y'all. None of y'all. Let, let, let's get some understanding here. Alright? Effeminate. Because you was moving effeminate. And I believe that you was tampered with. Because your mind is corrupted. You are abominable by your mind. And by the way you say things. By your actions. It shows. Let's go into the word effeminate. Effeminate. Boy kept for homosexuality. See? See? Male prostitute. Soft. The way how you speak and, and present yourself. Abuse of the seven man can make plain as day. One who lies with a male as with a female. Sodomite. Homosexual. They can't get around it. You cannot get around it. Your portion is to be judged and to be destroyed on this side. Game over for you. And I would hope that you ain't a jake by the flicking seed. I really hope so. You know. to, the, to, to show you how much I despise all your wickedness. Let's continue. <clears throat> Let's keep it kicking. Let, let's keep it going. Let's keep kicking them where, where, where they deserve to be kicked. Kick it where it hurts, you know? That is saying. Kick, kick them where it hurts. They kick them where it hurts. First thing we teach at one of us is ten. Let's go. For her mongrels, for, um, for her mongrels, for them that defile themselves with mankind, which we already know is going to, homosexual act, 
right for men stealers for liars which is also you again <clears throat> for portrayed um persons so <clears throat> like <clears throat> right and if um and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine According to the glorious gospel of the Most High, of, uh, of blessing, of the blessed power, who was committed to my trust. So you go against that order, and you do this wickedness. There's nothing but destruction for you, man. What you think this was? You think this was a way to, you think this was a way to, 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 come on. Come on. Come on. Let, let, I want to get a preacher. Let me read this over. I want to read this over. It says, Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless, the disobedient, the ungodly, and, the, and for sinner, for unholy, and for and profane, for murderer, and for father, and murders of fathers and mothers of, of mothers. Murderers for fathers and murderers of mothers. For mans manslayer, and if you continue for homonger, it says for them that defile themselves with mankind, with mankind, uh, and the sin, and they continue to go on. So you see, it doesn't matter where you try to where you try to pick and choose in the New Testament, it's exempted, right? Whether you like it or not, right? They defile, they defile themselves with man and mankind. The, the game over, right? There's no getting around it. So you have no excuse, but you have no excuse. But we already know where you're going and go with this. You're going to make excuse to continue to do your wickedness. Just like in Sodom and Gomorrah. Same way going to be with you. The reality of it is, this is how this is this is the way that America, Babylon has 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 reached. So Babylon is going to burn along with your nasty tooted ass. And anybody who follows, who entertain, who endorse it. Are going to be put to death just like the rest of them. So, this lesson, I hope this lesson was indeed edifying. I despise this wickedness. I hate them with perfect hatred, and they are my enemies. Anybody who commit these acts, don't come and talk to me plainly. I will flick in. I'm telling you, if you better, if you know me, better you unknow me one time. Yeah, you heard me. I'm playing that. So, Shalom Yashorala. Kal Halal Yam Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Akakodash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of James Gam, but to not great minister for the bring forth the hundred percent truth that I've been correctly edified under. Shall want to the elect tabernacle of David and I'm a brother Tazariak Kazak saying to you, Shall want until the next one. Shall